Hey everyone, I was just watering my cryptanthus, so I thought this would be a great opportunity to uh, introduce you to these beautiful uh, plants. Cryptanthus belong to the bromeliad family. There are more than thousand different varieties of cryptanthus, and they come in these lovely colors. So they are not really uh, grown for their blooms, but they are grown for their beautiful foliage, uh, which kind of spans from white to green to pink um, and brown and all the colors in between uh, and very easy plants to grow. These are unlike other bromeliads which are more epiphytic which means that they grow more on trees or other vegetation. Cryptanthus grows on rainforest floors and that's why they are called uh, because they are terrestrial they are called earth stars. So that's another name. So they are called either Cryptanthus or Earth Stars. And why the name Cryptanthus? Crypt actually stands for hidden and anthus means flower. So hidden flower. So unlike bro other bromeliad varieties which give these huge shoots and then flowers on the top and blooms that last for a while, Cryptanthus no blooms normally are well hidden uh, in the center of the stem. So if it blooms it will be right there in the center and um, at the bottom it doesn't come up so that's why the name hidden flower or cryptanthus from a watering standpoint uh, these they love to be well moist but at the same time they don't like to be over watered at all uh, they love humidity right so uh, like other bromeliads they love their humidity they don't do very well in a completely dry kind of environment um, but they are also very delicate which means that if you overwater them they will just disintegrate within no time okay so it's important to um, ensure that the soil is kept well moist but at the same time that it is not uh, you know soaking wet that balance has to be well maintained for cryptanthus they do pretty well in bright light especially since they have these beautiful variegated colors um, you need to give them enough adequate sun but again not direct sun right they will survive the shade but they will lose some of their variegation lose some of the color if you don't give them enough sun very easy to grow so if you see this one it has got so many pups in it so i can probably snap off some of them which will come out easily yeah so this one is coming off so if i can i can potentially just you know clean this fellow up and uh, let him dry for a day and then uh, repot in another pot and it will give me a new plant okay so so getting pups from them yeah this is another one so getting pups from them is really easy once they are well established it's very easy to get pups and once they bloom they uh, typically the mother plant actually dies but gives enough pups so that you have enough to propagate them from they don't grow tall uh, they can grow wide uh, which means you know, one of these things can even grow up to two feet um, and they, they can really spread if they are happy um, and it takes years before they flower depending on the variety uh, so these are beautiful plants to grow easy to grow so have them in your collection typically very easy to find now in most nurseries as well so that's cryptanthus or earth stars for you the bromeliad uh, variety and hope you can add them to your collection too thank you